It's the 2002 Jeep Liberty. Look at that. It is a automotive marvel. We like it. It's got my daughter around quite a bit. There she is back there. She's uh, camera shy. And uh, so 2002 Jeep Liberty uh, making some kind of hesitating on the road kind of herky-jerky doesn't have power you put your foot into it and it's kind of not responding is that what's going on from it and up hills yeah yeah so and there's no code so it's not throwing a code no engine light on so we, we've done the uh the idle control and that helped for a while right you know, the engine light didn't turn back on and the engine light went out for a while and it's been so now i think we're gonna try i didn't see any went went over the top and looked for any loose hoses or anything i didn't see any of these vacuum hoses all seem to be good and intact it's always good to make sure you look over that one little vacuum leak and it can cause all sorts of problems you have your that's where your fuel comes in but we'll try the pvc valve it's kind of a common problem if this engine can't breathe and that's clogged up which odds are it is that can that can cause the problem. So let's give that a try. So it's good to try and pry from the bottom. Just try and carefully you don't rip it and pull from the back. All right. Now depending on how how tight your uh, hose is on here, and this one's pretty. I think it should be a lot more rubbery than that. It's hardened from the heat over time. Vehicle's almost 20 years old. It's 18 years old. It's old enough to go to the movies. Used to be able to buy cigarettes, but oh, there it goes. Man, it's just so. There it goes. Nice. All right, and then you simply push down and pop it out this way, just like that. And then it pulls directly out like that. Ooh, that is dirty too. That could be the problem, look at that. It is just clogged with soot and grime. I'm not sure it was breathing breathing very well through there so then we go down here like that push it in no oh, come on all right it's tight man place like that and then scoot this crusty hose over it there it goes popped right back on there yeah. might be another one to look at at the wrecking yard next time we go replace that and it's on all right, fire it up, CJ. All right, we'll see if this works. Give it a little gas. That's good. 
And that's how you change the PVC valve. Common problem can cause performance issues. Give that a try. It's like seven bucks at O'Reilly for this little part. Piece of cake, easy peasy.